Hi guys, welcome to Pilates. Um, hope you're all feeling fit and well. Um, before we start the class, if anything hurts or you feel uncomfortable or painful, stop and don't continue with that exercise. If you feel a little bit better with the next exercise, then you can continue with it. So we're going to start off um, today, we're going to work um, on a little bit of spine, mobility, flexibility and strength. Um, so we're starting off with the feet hip distance apart, directly below the hip bones. Grounding through the big toe, baby toe and heel. And I just want you to rock backwards and forwards, feeling your body weight rock, forward and back. Feeling the weight go onto the heels and then onto the toes. Forward and back. And as we move forward and back, we want to pull up through the legs, draw the abdominals in towards the spine and scoop the belly in and up towards the rib cage. We want to lengthen through that spine as if we're being pulled up through the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. The chest is wide and the shoulders are down. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Focusing on that breath. Now bring yourself to a neutral position so the toes are spread. Inhaling through the nose and we're going to go into a side bend. Inhale, come back up to centre, lengthen through the spine and bend towards the opposite centre. Inhale, come back up to centre. Exhale. If you want to, lift the arm up and over. Try and imagine you're in between two panes of glass. So we don't want to roll the shoulder forward. We want to keep the bicep in line with the ear. Inhale, center, elongate the spine, scoop the abdominals, keep the pelvic floor engaged and move through it. Inhale, center. Moving to the right, lift the left arm and take it up and over, if that is your level, and float it down. Exhale. Get as much length through the side of the body as you can. Elongate the spine to come back to centre. Exhale. And just move into your own range of mo motion. If you find it's too difficult to add the arm, just keep with the side bend. And if you want to add a little extension here, reach through the arm. Take that left hand, hold onto the wrist and lengthen. Try not to pull too hard, but you want to pull a little bit of length into the side of the body. Keep breathing. Center it up and change sides. Reach. Take that right hand, pull it through. So you want to push that left hip all the way away. Inhale. Center, hands on the hips. We want to draw little circles as if the tailbone is circling in a stirring motion. Keeping the knees bent. Change direction with those hips. And bring it back to center. So we're going to take the feet slightly wider than the hips. I'm going to turn around to the back to show you this. So we're going to inhale through the nose. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. On our exhale, we're going to lift the arms all the way up tall to make a V with the arms. Then we're going to turn through the balls of the feet to the opposite side of the room, rotating through the spine. And then, if you can, we're going to start to fold forward towards the opposite toe. 
inhale come back up y with the arms then we circle through the balls of the feet all the way around to the other side and this time we reach towards the opposite toes inhale easier option we'll come off that we rotate take the hands on the hips and bend forward then use your arms to reach towards the feet inhale rotate all the way through and lower down try one more time on each side inhale exhale reach the arms up twist lengthen the hands towards the feet inhale roll back up and exhale stand tall okay from here we're going to come to the side of the mat for our roll down So feet are hip distance apart. Long spine, abdominals, brace, pelvic floor engaged. Keep your hands on your hips and we're gonna inhale through the nose and bring the chin to the chest. Slowly and segmentally roll the upper back forward. And then just bring the hands and let them hang in front. Now we roll to wherever you feel comfortable. Keep the abdominals braced and slowly roll down letting the body weight fold forward inhaling through the nose lift the tailbone and slowly lift all the way back up stacking the spine one vertebra at a time Just move whatever way feels right for you. Exhale to roll forward. We segmentally roll the vertebra down. Brace abdominals. Now if you wish you can stay and hold this position, let the body weight fold forward. You can hold on to either elbow Lift that tailbone and lengthen all the way forward. And just rock from side to side. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Scoop the belly in. Lift the tailbone. And slowly start to stack the spine. One vertebrae. Rolling back up. Roll the shoulders. Now this time take the hands behind the back. Scoop the abdominals. Draw the chin towards the chest. And start to roll the spine all the way down. If it's comfortable for you, start to lift the hands towards the ceiling. Open the shoulders. Drop the head. If this is uncomfortable, just release the arms. Inhale. Slowly start to exhale. You can drop the hands first if that's easier. Or you can lead with the arms to roll all the way back up and drop the arms circling the shoulders now take the hands into a V position spread the thumbs away from the fingers and then bring the elbows in towards the ribs you want to keep the breastbone open 
if you have a wall handy, you can test your flexibility. Loosen your back against the wall and try and keep your elbows and your forearms in towards the wall without lifting your upper or mid back away from the wall. Exhale to reach, extend. Inhale, pull those elbows all the way in. on the upper back as you pull it. Using the lats that just live under the armpits. Use those muscles to pull you all the way in and back out. You could also use a set of dumbbells in your hand as you do this exercise. Maintaining stability through the pelvis and through the shoulders. Pull the arms down, release the arms and circle the shoulders. Coming into the roll down once again to bring ourselves onto the floor. Bring the chin to the chest on the exhale and slowly roll all the way down. Bend in the knees here and slowly start to walk the hands out. Coming into four point knee. So the hands are directly below the shoulders. The knees are directly below the hips. Knees and hips and ankles in line. We spread the fingers and push through the fingertips. Keep an even weight distribution, distribution through the fingers. Inhale through the nose and we're just going to slowly lengthen the leg, one leg all the way away. Squeeze the glute, lengthen out of that toe and then slide that leg back in. Change legs. Our main focus here is keeping the ribs hips connection as we slide in that. So I'm going to show you different options here as we move through. Shoulders are relaxed, neck is long and just keep your gaze just at the top of your mat. So you extend out of the crown of the head, exhale to lengthen, inhale to pull that leg back. Now this might look easy to you, but you want to squeeze the muscles in that leg. You want to feel the contraction into the quad and into the glutes and hamstrings as you extend that leg, as well as closing through the rib cage and drawing the abdominals in tight. Now this time we're going to extend that leg, lift it up and then tap the big toe to the floor, toenails down, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. What we don't want to do here is arch the back. We want to keep the rib hip connection here. So as you lift the leg, you squeeze the glute. Inhale, tap down. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay with that leg, keep it long. Take the opposite hand and extend it all the way out in front so the arm is straight. What we want to try and do from here is lift the hand and extend and lower. Lift. Easier option. We lift and lower. Opposite arm. Opposite leg. Five. Four. Three. Brace those abdominals. Two, one. Slowly lower the arm, slowly lower the leg. Change legs, extend that leg. Lift and lower. We want to keep both hips parallel to the floor. You will always find that you're stronger on one side than the other. If this is too challenging, you can come down on the wrist, come down onto the forearms. And we want to think about length rather than height with this. Exhale. Two more. And one. Exhale, lift and hold. Option one, extend the arm. 
lift and lower. Easier option, lift and lower, opposite arm, opposite leg, extending out of the fingertips, extending out of the toes, pull the belly in, last one here. Bring it back in, if you wish we can bring the tailbone to the heels, keep the back nice and flat. And then walk the hands as you roll the spine. Bringing the forehead to the floor. And give the wrists a little circle if you need to. Bring it back to all fours. So let's add a little challenge here. So we want to try and strengthen the core, the spine, and the back. So we're going to tuck the toes under, and we want to just slightly lift the knees off the floor, keeping the arms strong, pushing through the shoulders, and we want to lift the knees ever so slightly off the floor. What we don't want to do is this, okay? So we want to keep it nice and strong. Spine is in neutral. Just an inch off the floor and place it back down. Elbows are turned in as if you're holding something below your armpits. Lift and lower. Four more. Lift and lower. Three. Two. And one. Slowly lower it down. Tuck the toes under. Set the tailbone to the heels. And come back up onto all fours. By all means, have a little rest if it's starting to hurt your wrists. On all fours, wrist directly below the shoulders, pushing through those fingertips. This time, we're going to come up and we're going to step out into your plank. Back in and down. Lift onto the knee, step out. Back in and down. If that's too difficult, stay on the knees. Step out, out and back onto the knees. Exhale. Now change legs, leading legs each time. Last one. Sitting down onto the heels. Place the forehead on the floor. Bring the hands by the sides. And let the shoulders roll forward. Wiggle the fingers. And we slowly bring ourselves down onto the tummy. Toenails down on the floor, hip bones facing the floor, and heads down on the floor. Resting the hands by your sides and the thumbs in towards the sides of the body. We're going to inhale through the nose, resting the body down. We're going to lift the palms and push towards the ceiling. Inhale and lower down. Exhaling to lift. Trying to maintain that long spine, lengthening out through the crown of the head, out through the tailbone, whilst keeping that neutral spine. Now lift the palms towards the ceiling, and then we want to start to rotate through those hands. Feeling this into the upper back of the shoulder blades, upper arms, last time, palms down, and release. So from here we're going to spread the arms 
wide. So we want the thumbs facing the ceiling. Brace the abdominals. If you need to, you can place a little pillow below your head. And we're going to lift the thumbs to the ceiling. Try and keep the wrists in line with the shoulders. So we don't want to do this and bring the hands towards the knees. We want to lift up and release. Exhale. And lower. Good we exercise for posture. Exhale and inhale. We brace the abdominals and keep the ribs closed. Two more. Last one here. And slide the hands to the sides of the body. Rest it here for a little second. So from here we're going to imagine you're holding a dumbbell or just make a fist with the hand and you're going to lift the arms up and we're going to bend the elbows and push the hands out. Inhale. I'm going to feel this in the triceps, into the shoulder girdle, brace the abdominals. Inhale. Exhale. This is just a good wee strengthener for the upper arms before we start to move through the spine. Last one, extend. Wiggle the fingers, circle the arms, and bring the hands directly below the shoulders. Drive the elbows into the ribs, draw the abdominals tight. We're going to inhale through the nose, and as we exhale, we're just going to lift the head and the shoulders off the mat. You can use your hands to push through, and you want to think of length through the spine as you move. Draw the abdominals and then lower down towards the floor. Inhale through the nose, exhale to lift. So we're only lifting segmentally, and you work to where you feel comfortable. Now option two, we exhale lift. If you wish, take the hands away and use the strength in your spine to lower you back to the floor. Hands come down to the floor. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Lift the head and shoulders. Try and maintain that length and strength as you lift the hands away. And then slowly lower. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to lift. Try not to lift the chin and look in front. We just want to keep our gaze looking down towards the floor. If you can, try and lift a little higher with each repetition. Push through the hands, elbows glued to the ribs. Lift. Take the hands away. Use the strength through the back to lower you back down. Last one here. and rest. If you need to stretch that out, by all means feel free. So we're going to take our hands and just place them in front so that we can rest our forehead on our hands. We're going to start now working in through the glutes and the lower back. So we want to inhale through the nose, brace the abdominals and engage the pelvic floor and we're going to lift and extend one leg. Inhale and lower back down. Lift and extend the opposite leg on the exhale. Squeeze in that glute. Lengthen them out through the leg. And lower. Now some people find that if they lie on their tummy, it hurts their lower back before they even start to move. So you can place your hands below your hip bones. Or if you have a little cushion, you can place it below your hip bones. So we want to feel a lot of length through the front of the hips. What we don't want to do is lift the hip bone. We want to keep that hip bone grounded to the floor. Think about lifting and lengthening with each repetition. Nice. 
now this time we lift and extend that leg and we want to draw circles three two one and release change legs lift that leg circle in two three release let's do two more lift one two three and lower exhale lift circle two three and drop taking the hands under the shoulders we want to inhale through the nose we're going to come into slightly higher spine extension draw the abdominals pelvic floor engaged inhaling through the nose on our exhale we start to lift from the crown of the head the shoulders and the chest the rib cage now we keep the hips down and lengthen through the crown of the head chin parallel to the floor look to one side come back to center keep breathing look to the opposite side if this is too uncomfortable just keep looking towards the front of the room inhale on the exhale we slowly and segmentally start to roll back to the floor keeping everything nice and super slow draw the abdominals tight pelvic floor engaged exhale lift Elongate that spine. Look to one side. Look to the opposite side. Back to centre. Scoop the belly in as tight as you can and slowly start to place the spine back on the floor. One vertebra at a time. The head doesn't drop just yet. The head comes down at the very, very end. And rest. Extending both arms. So we're coming into our Superman. So we want to exhale and lift both legs together, extending up and dropping down. Lift both arms with your chest and lower. Easier option is just to keep the hands by the sides of the head and lift. Exhale, lift the legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift the arms and the upper body and lower. Exhale. Now the more challenging version of this Superman is to lift everything together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Only do what you can with this. Exhale. Inhale. And release. Come up and have a little stretch if you need to. Take the hands by the sides of the body. So this time we're going to inhale through the nose. We're going to drive the shoulder blades together and lift the upper back. And lower it up. Belly button braced. Pelvic floor engaged. So we're going to try and add a little side bend in this position. So we inhale to prepare. Exhale to lift. And you're going to tilt to the side, reaching to one knee back to center lengthen the spine just as we did in the warm-up rotate to the opposite side inhale back to center bend to the side and come back to center harder option by all means come back to the floor if you need to lift twist center Feeling those obliques. One more each side. 
bring it back to center. Now from here, lift up into your cobra, lengthen through the spine, lift the tailbone and bring it to the heels. Keep the spine long. Now we want to curl into the spine, roll that spine and roll the hips back to the floor. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the hips. Take them to the tailbone. Inhale, roll the spine. Tuck the tailbone under. Last one. Inhale, lift the hips. Bring the tailbone to the knee. Tailbone to the head. Inhale. Rest in this position if it's easier for you or it's more comfortable, just bring the hands by the feet, resting on the forehead, roll the shoulders forward. And take a few nice, slow, long, deep breaths. Just here. Coming up into four point knee for cat cow. Hands directly below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Inhaling through the nose, we want to tuck the tailbone under. And then lift the spine towards the ceiling. Curling the chin towards the chest. Exhale. Moving from the tailbone, we lift the tailbone. We push the belly to the floor. We keep the ribs connected as we lift the chin and extend it forward. Inhale, push and use the hands, use the shoulders, tuck the tailbone, scoop it all up. Exhale, moving from the tailbone, belly, upper back and shoulders, lift the head, tuck the chin forward, tuck the tailbone under. Exhale, lift the tailbone. Now come back to neutral with the spine. Tuck the tailbone under slightly. Push through the hands, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Now take your eye, head and look towards your hips as you bring the right hip towards the right hip, rib. And then bring the hips back to neutral. And bring the left hip to the left rib and look round towards the hips. Inhale back to center, lengthen the spine. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate the hip and look towards that hip. One more time each side. Lengthen as we come back to center. Rotate. And center. Exhale. In. Sitting down under your heels. Walk the hands in slightly. So we're going to do a variation of thread the needle. So we're going to place both hands on the floor. Keep your hat, feet on your heels on your on your tailbone on your heels if you wish. So we're going to take the right hand and thread it under through that left hand, gliding it along the floor. And just bringing the right ear to the floor and then thread through. Exhale, keep your eyes on that hand and watch that thumb as it lengthens towards the ceiling. Inhale. If it's easier for you, you can come up onto all fours. Moving as slow as possible through this move. Pushing through the left hand. And keep the eyes on the thumb as you move through. If you come to this point to bring the ear to the floor and you want to hold that position to get that lovely stretch through the shoulder, through the thoracic spine and the lower back. Also into the neck. 
we can challenge this a little bit further by taking that left arm extending it towards the ceiling so you lift that left shoulder and lift it all the way up you can take that hand around place it round under the hip with the right hand side breathing long and slow inhale uncurl place the hand back on the floor of that left hand slide the right hand back in and change sides exhale thread through with that left hand bring the ear to the floor if this is your level you stay here otherwise you can lift the right shoulder, extend it towards the ceiling. If this is enough for you, you stay here, keeping the abdominals braced. And if you wish, take that left hand behind the back and we keep widening, opening up the shoulders. You're pushing through that left arm to help you open up through the spine. Slowly uncurl the arm, place that right hand back on the floor, pushing through that right hand, slide back up, rolling onto our side. Make sure you have a little bit of space for this. So we're going to do a variation of bow and arrow. So what I want you to do is take the top leg and bend it in front so the knee and hip are in line. We're going to extend the bottom leg towards the floor. Now if you want to, you can place a pillow below your head or it's a good idea just to keep your head hovering so that it strengthens the muscles in your neck. So we brace the abdominals, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. And in this position, it's, it's much easier not to move your hips around. So we're going to inhale to prepare, scoop the abdominals, exhale, and we want to keep our eyes on that thumb. We lead from the shoulder, the hand stays in line with the shoulder as it moves through. Now, if this is where you are comfortable, you stop here. Don't let the shoulder stay there, but push the arm into position that it shouldn't go. So we want to just keep the shoulder and wrist in line. And if you can, Draw that shoulder wider, make sure you have enough space and open through. And then close it all the way up. Again, keeping the eyes on the thumb. If it's too difficult, you can keep your hand on your head. Again, the elbow stays in line with the shoulder. Open through. Exhale, close. So you work to your own level. You do not want to feel pain in your shoulders with this. This exercise is all about mobility through the spine. Keeping the hips stable as we move through the trunk. Exhale. Let's do one more here. Now take that arm long. And from here, we start off with the shoulders stacked. We're going to slide that top hand all the way forward. Stand as much as you can. And then slide it back into your start position. Inhale, exhale, extend. And slide back. Extend forward and back. Last one. Reaching all the way forward and back. Slowly from here, rolling onto your back. Bend the knees, walk the feet in towards the bottom. Nice long spine extending out of the crown of the head. Neutral spine, you will have a slight little curve in the lower back. 
spine is long. Take the hands by the sides of the body. We're going to inhale through the nose, pull the belly to the spine, engage the pelvic floor and pull the ribs towards the hips. Exhale, we lift the chin towards the ceiling and slightly forward. So we want to look between the knees. We want to engage the inner thighs and reach towards the bottom of the mat. Scoop the belly in a little bit tighter and roll down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to lift. You want to feel that connection in the, to the abdominals as you lift. Slowly lower back to the floor. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Now if it's easy for you, we want to lift and hold. We don't want to lift up too high. We want to keep the lower ribs still connected to the floor. Now if this is your level, we want to lift and hold here. You can pump the arms if you want like the 100, but we're not going to breathe like the 100. We're just going to breathe long and slow in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to feel the length through the shoulder blades, through the neck. And if you need to, you can place your hand behind your head. Stabilize the neck muscles. We're going to hold this for 10. 9. Pull that belly in a little bit more. Keep the lower back connected to the floor. 8. You can lift and reach a little bit more. That's strengthen the abdominals and the lower back. 5. 4. 3. Two and one, and then we slowly curl back to the floor. Hug one knee in, hug the other knee in, and circle the knees. Now float the feet back to the floor, brace the abdominals, engage the pelvic floor, rest the hands on the floor. Shoulder blades down, collarbone wide, and we're going to lift the tailbone and then float the tailbone back to the floor so that we lift the lower back and get that little curl in the lower back. Inhale, scoop the belly in, lift the tailbone. Exhale, spine is long, back of the head rested on the floor. Now, if this is enough for you to just work on your pelvic tilt and just help loosen up the lower back, you stay with this. Otherwise, we're going to push through the heels and the balls of the feet, lift the tailbone, lower back and the mid back. We don't want to hyperextend through the back. We want to keep a nice long line from the shoulders, hips, knees and ankles. Scoop the belly in. We want to engage those inner thighs. Imagine that you're in. If you want to, you can put a cushion between the knees. And we're going to push through the balls of the feet and lift the heels. And lower. Exhale. And lower. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Lift. And lower. Keep both hip bones stacked and in line. Lift and lower. We're slowly going to roll the spine all the way back to the floor, one vertebra at a time. So each time we come up into bridge, I'm going to challenge a little further. So you work to your own level. Inhale through the nose, exhale, lift the tailbone, lower back, mid back. Shoulder bones stay grounded to the floor. Lift both heels and lower. Now, if you wish, we want to lift the heels, push through the balls of the feet. You want to feel those caps and the hamstrings and just segmentally lower the spine to the floor. Keep the heels lifted if you wish. Lift and lower through the, the spine. Harder option, we take the hands and extend them. Wrists stay in line with the shoulders. Slowly and segmentally lower back to the floor. Exhale to push up. Inhale to lower back. Exhale. 
And we can add a little arm movement to this. So as we lift the hips, we exhale and extend the arms behind. Keep control of the rib cage. Don't let the ribs flare up, keep them down. And lower. Exhale, slowly and segmentally lift. And lower. The arms do not flop. You keep them strong. Imagine you're being pulled to the far end of the room with your fingers and slowly lower back up. Drop the heels. If you need to, give those hamstrings a little stretch. Lengthen that leg. Push the heel to the ceiling and circle the ankle. Holding on either above or below the knee, never on the joint. Take that leg and cross it over. Open the hip into a figure four. So we want to try and encourage the knee down and away. This is enough for a stretch for you. Just hold it here. Or we can add a one-legged bridge. So we inhale, exhale, lift the hips off the floor. Slowly lower back to the floor. Exhale, push up. Inhale, lower. Keeping the ribs connected to the hips. Lift, and if you want to, you can hold. Again, harder option is to extend the arms. Either above chest height or extend them away. When you extend the arms away, our body is inclined to try and lift the hips or the ribs. So we want to keep those ribs connected to the hips. And just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Squeeze those glutes and lift the hips as high as you can. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Bring the hands all the way back to the floor. Slowly glide the spine. Down. And uncurl that leg. Take the opposite leg. Extend it long. Flex the foot, give that hamstring a little stretch, circle the ankle. And then take that leg, cross it over, encourage the knee away. And if you want to, you can add the hip lift, lift and lower. Segmentally working through the spine. You can lift and lower, encourage those glutes to work harder, or you can lift and hold, lengthen the spine. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Pushing through the heel, lift the hips as high as you can, squeeze on that glute. Inhale. Exhale, glide the hands back to the floor. Use the shoulder blades to slowly glide the spine all the way back down. And bring that foot to the floor. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, we come up into our bridge one more time. Knees, hips and ankles are in line. Extend the arms if you want to, otherwise you keep the hands down on the floor, driving the shoulder blades into the floor, keeping the ribs and hips connected. Now squeeze the knees together. Don't hold your breath. We breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You're going to feel the glutes on the outside working nice and hard. Inner thighs are working nice and strongly. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Relax the shoulders. Three. Keep those hips nice and high. Two. And one. Slowly roll the spine segmentally to the floor. Upper back. Mid back. That little curl of your back. And then your tailbone. 
lift the knees, bring them into the chest and circle those knees. Roll like a ball, keeping the knees hugged in towards the chest. We lift the head and shoulders to bring the chin towards the knees. Exhale and roll all the way back down. Now you want to try and maintain that little ball position. Holding onto the shins. We want to push against the hands as we pull the knees away and start to roll. Use it as a little massage for the spine. Keeping the movements nice and slow. Now a little leg extension if you want. Inhale, roll back, extend the legs, pull them back in. Inhale. Control through the movement. Let's do one more. come up to sit. From here we're going to sit up onto the sit bones. Starting off with a little roll forward. So we want a nice long spine, shoulders in line with the hips. Inhale through the nose. On our exhale we want to roll the chin. Curve the spine and roll forward. And then roll the way back up. So the spine is long, making the C curve, chin to the chest, curl and roll forward and then sit up nice and tall. We can make this a little bit more challenging by extending the legs a little bit longer, taking the arms out, curl the spine and roll forward. Inhale through the nose, exhale roll the spine. If you want to hold that position, reach for the heels. Long slow breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then slowly uncurl all the way back up. Bend those knees in one more time. So we're going to take the right hand and place it on the left shin. And take the right hand, sorry, the left hand, extend it out in front. And then we're going to rotate through the spine. Again, we keep the shoulder in line with the wrist. The hips stay still and we open through. Keep your eyes on that thumb. Sure you have a lot of space. Now we can challenge this and make this a little bit more challenging by lifting the foot, keeping the knee bent and holding on to the ankle. Or we have a harder option, extending the leg. And use opposing, so you pull against the leg and open through, so you use opposing arm and leg to extend. Exhale, keep those abdominals braced. Remember you can stay here. And if it's too challenging to keep the arm long, keep the hand at the temple and rotate through. Back to centre, changing sides. Sit nice and roll the shoulders if you need to. Option one, we take the left hand, place it either on the shin 
or underneath the thigh, sitting tall. Extend the right arm. Rotate through. Come back in. Keeping your eyes on that moving thumb. Easier option. Rotate through. So we initiate the movement from the shoulder. The elbow and the hand just follow through. By lifting the leg, we get a little bit of hamstring. Flexibility. Make this our final one. Lower that leg. And we bring it onto the opposite side. Finish off. So we're rolling down onto the floor. Extend both hands in front. Take the top leg, stack it in front so the knee, hip and ankle are in line. Lengthen that bottom leg. Raise the abdominals, pelvic floor engaged. We start to lift that hand. Keep your eyes on that thumb and open through. The shoulder stays in line with the wrist. If you can't move the shoulder anymore, don't let the arm hang. Close it up. Exhale, lift and open. Easier option is to keep your hand by your temple. And open. We must maintain abdominal connection throughout each movement. Again, thinking of the length through the spine. Last one. Close it up. Extend the arm. Place both hands on top of each other. We're going to take that top hand and extend it all the way in front. As if you're reaching. All the way out in front. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Inhale, last one. Exhale, reach. Inhale, slide it back. Take that hand. Push it up to sit. Bring both feet in front. Sitting on those sit bones, sitting up nice and tall. I'm going to bend the right leg in. Hold it there. Inhale through the nose, sit with that nice long spine, extend the arms towards the ceiling. And then start to slowly fold forward. Keep the spine long. Try not to round the back. We want to keep it long. Extend, extend, extend. Inhale. Exhale, try and reach a little bit further forward. We want to feel the lower back, sacroiliac joint open all the way wide. Inhale, exhale, lift through, drop the arms, change legs. Slide that opposite leg in, sitting on those sit bones, extend the arms long. If that's too challenging, just reach the arms out in front, but keep that spine lengthened. Exhale, reach. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, float the arms back down. Cross both legs. Little side bend to finish. Lift and lengthen one arm. Extend it up and over. Float up through. Holding onto your foot. And that's going to give you that little stable base to reach and lengthen, stretching up out of the side of the body, lengthening through the lower back. Last one. Bring it back to centre. 
curl the spine, roll the chin forward, scoop the belly and roll all the way forward, opening up the hips. Breathing long and slow in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just have a little wriggle around, feel your body, feel where it's tight, feel where you need to loosen up. And then slowly stack the spine all the way back, wriggle the shoulders. Guys, thank you very much for your hard work today. Let's hope you're all feeling fit and well and keeping safe. I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much.